What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we will be continuing our little edge rusher series, I guess you could say, where we will be continuing with Leatu Latu, edge rusher out of UCLA. Uh, 6'5", 265 listed at. Might be a little bit heavier, lighter, probably an inch shorter because, I mean, that's what they like to do for college is they go like up an inch and then when they uh, measure in at the combine, they're usually like an inch shorter than they're listed at. And I mean, the weights, it could be lighter or heavier because, you know, they could be bulking up or anything that's more subject to change than their height, obviously. Um, I will warn you before the video get before we get too far into the video. I've been a little sick recently, uh, so if I just like turn and cough or something, just ignore it. So my voice is kind of deeper for this video. Just had some, you know, chest and throat sickness, I guess you could say. So there's that. Maybe I sound more like a man. <laughs> I don't sound like a man. So we'll make sure we turn the vi uh, volume down. We got uh, UCLA versus Oregon State. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was thinking I was looking at offense. I thought, thought I had the wrong video pulled up for a second. And then, so yeah, same people for the film, do a barrel roll and a Bernardo. Um, this one is the highlighting kind of film. And this is week uh, 12 from the looks of it. And this is week 6, 7, week 7. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, looks like he's rushing on the left side. What is happening? Uh, yeah, left side. And actually, I have not seen any film on him. Literally going in blind. I mean, obviously, he's up draft board, so I assume he's a pretty decent player. Um, did have to medically retire from football uh, at Washington and transferred to UCLA. So, probably will. That could obviously be some draft day questions. Could cause him to fall a little bit. Because, you know, that's a pretty big medical red flag, you know, like, uh, like breaking a finger, like that's not a, that's not a, that's not a red flag, but medically retiring because of concussions, that's a big red flag. So that is the only thing I do know about him because I mean, it's been every time somebody talks about him, that's what they talk about, but going in blind, have not seen anything. I don't know if he's more of a run stopper, power rusher, speed rusher. More of a pass rusher than a run stopper. I have literally no clue. So we're going to try to get a feel for it. Um, That is a scrawny tight end. Maybe it's just a receiver. Maybe that's the tight end. I don't know. Is it because he's white? Could be. Lined up head up. So he's a six. That is a interesting stance. Uh, looks like he's about to cover him in basketball in the paint. So there's that. Reads him. Quick feet, quick hands. Hits him. Gets into the, uh, the, the middle of the field. Outside fake spin, good hands. I like that. I like that. Um, I assume that's him. What's he been wearing? Uh, double white sleeves. Okay. And de quick rant: defensive play players wearing numbers like ten through nineteen. I hate it. Like not so much D line, but like when corners wear like number fourteen. Like I hate that because just they they're built like a receiver. And you, you look at them and you think receiver because, like, a teen number is a receiver number, but it's not anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought of that because he wears 15. Uh, does a good job squeezing, reads, tries to get across the field to make a tackle. Like that, could hustle a little bit more, but it's nitpicking. Good hands. Good finesse moves. Reads, gets around, sees the ball going that way. Gets ready to put himself in a position to make a play. I don't know why this is lagging. Uh, I don't see him anywhere. Uyunglele. He sucked. Remember when he was supposed to be like a first round pick? Yeah, me too. Okay. I do not see Leatu Latu. Did he get another concussion? No. <laughs> Alright, we'll just skip forward a bit till I find him. This always happens. I go to watch film and... I get like one of these, and then they're just like subbed out after one series. It's like, okay, that's fun. And now it's going to load. Um, maybe we'll turn down the resolution, and that'll help it load faster. 
wonderful, wonderful. It is just pixelated. Oh, jeez. Bear with me for a second. Don't click away. <laughs> Please, I need views. I My peak views is 11. And I probably will do receivers next. I'll probably get into, like, Rono du Romo Dunze, Keon Coleman. <coughs> Those kind of guys. Because, I mean, that uh, my Malik Neighbors video got the most views, so... <laughs> We'll probably move on to wide receivers after this. What a dime. Okay. Oh, he's back in. Okay. Um, Stands up. Shoot. Uh, Looks to be about a five from the looks of it. Kind of head up that little H-back kind of thing. Reads. Goes inside the guy. Squeezes. Eyes in the backfield the whole time. Like, he's just locked in the backfield. Reads his guy straight to the backfield. So that's important because they can process the game. I've not seen him get in a three-point stance very often. Fires off. Kind of ballroom dances with him for a bit. Uh, head up the... Looks to be kind of head up the tight end who's back a little bit. Is it lagging or are they going slow mo? What is happening? Okay. Oh my god. This kind of makes it rough to break down. I think that's just the game or the film. Kind of messed up a bit. Uh, five tech. Sees the guy, gets around him, gets in a position to make the tackle. Inside foot facing in. Sees his guy, reads the backfield immediately, gets in a position. He he grabbed well he he grabbed him so he he kind of had an impact. Far at base not base far out nine. Pretty obvious pass rush situation. Good good move there. That's a good move. I mean, didn't get there in time to prevent a touchdown, but throws his hands, fakes kind of outside, throws his hands back it out as he goes in and that guard kind of got him but he could have you know got to the quarterback so that's a good move um i don't see him okay once again not in oh i saw him is that him? Okay. I don't know if that was him or not. We're not going to go back and look. They recover that? Um, there he is on the right side. He was on the left side earlier. Good extend extension. What is that? Dude. Dude, what is that tackling? Um, so he does good a good job up until he is face-to-face -face with the ball carrier. Uh, lined up as a five. We'll go slow mo here. So extends the arms, eyes in the backfield. Gets off, gets off the guy. Heads to the ball carrier. Um, so in, in this situation, right, you're a defensive player. This guy's running with the football. Do you a grab and tackle him? B, uh, try to hit him with your shoulder and knock him over? Or C lay down and cry let's hit him with our shoulder if you guessed b you would be correct no pun intended i don't know what that was dude i i don't even know i sure hope he doesn't do that all the time because jesus christ that is i see i see better tackling form in junior high football games come on bud we, we are in d1 you want to go to the nfl don't do that good like he's got good moves like i i really hope he doesn't tackle like that all the time because that's gonna bring him down more than the concussions i'll tell you that much but like he's got good moves good like finesse moves good hands does a good job block shedding good job slanting inside trying to get pressure but kind of gets caught up in the pile or the massive humanity from the o and d line um Looks to be kind of a six, facing in, reads, extends, heads to the ball. 
I don't see him. Maybe I'm blind. Oh my god. I saw the 1-5. I thought that was him for a second. I mean, hit, like catching, that's not going to bring your draft stock down as a defensive end. But dude, you got to come down with that. It hit you in both hands. Slow. And he's just not in. Okay, that's fine. There he is. Okay. Back on the right side still. Good moves around the corner. Get him. Perfect. That's what you like to see. And see, that's how you tackle. You uh, wrap your arms around his body so he cannot run any longer, and then you bring him to the ground. That is, in fact, how you tackle somebody carrying the football. Good moves. Gets around him. Turns the corner. Heads straight to him. He doesn't go all the way around. He goes straight to him after he gets off of him. Uh, where's he at? He just died. I kind of like this running back. I don't know if this guy's good or draft eligible or what, but he looks pretty decent. Is that Jalen Ramsey? Okay, <laughs> not on the field again. They're like, oh, you got a sack? Okay, let's take you out of the game. Elite coaching. It's just fun to say. It kind of rolls off the tongue. There he is. There he's. Yeah, is that him? Yeah, that's him. Drop him back into coverage. An arm punt? No way. That is. That's a lottery throw. That's that's just crazy. All right, what does he do there? Because that was a good fake by the QB. So do, does he hesitate? Or does he just go after the running back? Okay, he goes after the running back, but he gets in his way. So, it's solid. Kind of getting molestated by the double team. But, you know, it's a double team. Can't be too mad at it. I mean, you'd hope he could split the gap between them and beat it. But, you know, it's you, you can't be too mad at getting beat by a double team. Oh, my God. Who is this tight end? Who is this guy? I mean, it, I mean he was wide open, but he was making plays earlier too. There he is, lined up as a five again. Gets around him. Eyes in the backfield the whole time. I really like that. Uh, back on, still on the right side. And pass rushing. Kind of gets held a little bit. But sees the QB step up in the pocket. Goes back around to get up to where the QB is going to be. Instead of taking the long way and having to chase him from behind, takes the good angle. Quick arms, but he wasn't really getting blocked there. Okay, who is this running back? This Oregon State offense is pretty decent. Except him. Good move, good move. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Those were good moves. And sometimes good moves just don't work. Sometimes the tackle, it just gets lucky. That's kind of what happened there from the looks of it. Elite tackling. Man, I'm partially a UCLA fan. Uh, I was a huge fan of Zach Charbonnet last year. Huge fan. Bought his jersey and at the end of his junior year. Loved that guy. And so I'm kind of a UCLA fan because of him. Uh, not on the field again, so that's fun. Not on the field again. That's cool. We are almost to the end of this game. Shit, I muted it. And now it's loud. Okay, we're going to turn that back down a bit. Wonderful. Um, yeah, almost to the end of the game. Move on to the next one. Call it good. Good reading. Could run a little bit harder. Just sprint to him. I mean, all you have to do is just run hard. And, yeah, like I always do, I'll end up watching some more film of him in my own time to get, you know, a proper analysis. Because you can't get an actual realistic analysis from two games. I get that. But this is just me breaking down two games of film for you guys. So. That's fun. It is not over yet. But it, it's getting there. Where is he at? There he is. Reads the Reads him. The, he does hesitate a little bit, but, you know, he's just seeing who gets the ball. Can't blame him for that. 
looking, seeing where the ball's going, because if the cue keeps it and runs outside of him, oh boy, is he getting in trouble. So he makes sure the cue gives it, and then heads straight to him, wraps up, tackles him for a first down, but, you know, there's not much you could do there. A little dump off, not on the field still. Oh, yes, he was. Where was he? What'd he do? Where was he? Did he line up on the inside? Where's he at? Oh, I'm blind. Same place he's always been. Gets around him. Sees the ball, a little screen. Goes to it. See, these are fun things to watch, too. Like, game on the line. You're down 12. You're probably not going to win anyway. But how hard do you try when you're not going to win? Do you keep trying? Or do you just give up? Like, hey, we're going to lose anyway. What's the point? Says a, that says a lot more than you think. Could extend the arms a little bit better, get them off you. Gets kind of held a little bit, but not a great play there. Kind of just falling, fumbling around everywhere. Gets off of him. Oh, that's not him. Okay. So that's cool. We'll close this before it decides to play some other game. So I, I, I really do like this. Makes it a lot easier to see him. Don't lag again, please. Oh, I hate USC. I freaking hate USC. I'm mainly an Oklahoma fan. Huge Oklahoma fan. UCLA is my second team. But I am a huge Oklahoma fan. And then they took Caleb Williams from us. They took Lincoln Riley. And then they beat UCLA, who's my other team. I hate USC. The condoms. Good extension of the arms. Pushing him back. Reading the backfield. Tackles his guy. Good play. <laughs> Getting double teamed. He tries to spin out of it. Not much he can do there. Lined up as the five. Goes inside. Good job getting around. That's a good block by the center. Oh my goodness. I, and I also hate their jerseys. Like, why don't they have the last name? I hate colleges that don't have the last name on the jerseys. Like Penn State? Hate it. Good job getting around him. Eyes in the backfield. Grab the running back. Good play. Kind of hard to tell where he's lined up. And it's going to lag some more. That's fine. Just bear with me here. Okay, there we go. Eyes in the backfield the whole time. I, I keep saying that because he keeps doing that. What am I seeing up there? Oh, that's a screen. Okay. I thought I was tripping balls or something. Good moves. He wants it. He wants the QB. And to be fair, I'd want to sack Caleb Williams too. Not in a fun way, in a mean way. Yeah, he wants it. He wants it. He wants it. He gets kind of decked by the running back there. All right, don't grab his foot like that, though. I don't want him hurt, but he needs at least hit him hard. Goes inside, goes back outside. Forces the ball out early. Good move. Good. I mean, that was a little screen, but that was still a good move nonetheless. Okay, I kind of like this running back. Is he head up the center? Is he, he looks like he's probably about a one, but goes at the center head on. Sees it going that way, gets around. We're going to wait on it to load. Awesome, that's cool. Ruining my video, so that's nice. Gets around him. Ah, kind of gets blocked by either the center or somebody else there, but did good. Good move, getting up and around, good. I like the rip attempt. I'm a huge fan of the rip move. It highlighted the title again. It's good good blocking by the O-lineman, but nice pass, Caleb. Lineup is a three. Great move. Oh, he gets tripped. You hate to see it. That was a great move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, Mr. Announcer. Just flick his hands and get out of there. Yeah, he gets tripped on, like, his face mask or something, but if he didn't get tripped there, that was probably a sack. Goes, beats the double team, but gets pushed in the back. 
Yeah, he tends to not be in a three-point stance a lot. Likes the two-point, which he'll probably have to get used to a three-point at the NFL level. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's not good. So, that little bite step right there. Oh, got him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, he bites on the... That I wonder if that's blocking in the back. Just grab his name on the back of his jersey, shove him down. Is is there not a flag? There's no flag. That's crazy. Gets beat. I mean, you saw that, right? That's crazy. I hope you are a bust. I don't think Caleb Williams is going to be too good in the league. I think he's just too cocky, too look at me, too self-confident. I mean, there's nothing wrong with confidence, but cockiness, too self-cockiness. I don't think he's going to do too good. Not a good leader. Well, I'm sure he is, but not. A, he's not going to be able to lead grown men, I'll tell you that. Good move. Makes him step up in the pocket to the pressure. So... He doesn't get the sack there, but he's kind of responsible for it. Makes him step up, allows him to get off his guys and just wrap him up. Good play. Lined up as the nine. Goes a little bit too deep, but he is getting pushed, so he can't be too mad about that. Good move inside. Forcing the pressure ball out early. Great catch. Goes back inside the guard. Oh, man. Finishing. Finishing. I mean, you got him. You are getting kind of blocked. You are getting pushed. But I, like, I, like, I do like the little dancing Caleb Williams does. He's not a bad player, don't get me wrong. But I'm just not a huge fan of him anymore. He goes all the way around and still kind of makes the play. Gets his helmet to the hip. Basing out, extending the arms, looking in the backfield the whole time. Goes inside, straight shot, beautiful. Beautiful. Love to see it. They're going to show the replay. Lined up as kind of a four-ish, five-ish kind of, four and a half, I'd say. And he's got him and him. So, basing, extending the arms, smack both their arms down, and free shot, he's looking the other way. You got him. Beautiful. I love to see that. Gets around him. See, now they're doubling him, pretty much. And he still gets there. Still gets there. I mean, I don't know if the running back's on his side on purpose. But he's got to go through the tackle and the running back. And he still gets there. So, third quarter still. I don't know if he gets pulled later in the game. But good base. Force pressure. Man, did the O-lineman trip or did he just throw him? Yeah, we'll go slow motion since the video wants to go slow-mo anyway. Oh, beautiful. Um, we'll go back to there. Kind of trips, but kind of just throws him. And throws, I don't know why he fell. Maybe he's just synchronized swimming or something. But forces the ball out early and there's nowhere to go with it. Oh, there's a flag. But still a good play by him. Rip underneath. Oh, forces the pressure, though. Yeah, I was going to say he doesn't force a lot of pressure, but, I mean, this last 10 snaps, he's got a lot. Good move. Man, I love his moves. Good catch, though. He's got long legs. Good move inside, quick hands, forcing the pressure some more. I mean, that's why Caleb Williams is good, because he's just able to evade pressure when he can, or evade the sack. Whoa! Wow. Okay, he's dead. But wow. Uh, Caleb Williams, I really hope he's not good. I really, I'm praying on his downfall, being a true hater right now, but I... I mean, that is just, I mean, I'm a Chiefs fan, 
But you know damn well if Mahomes did this, ESPN would be creaming their pants over this, showing this highlight for years. I mean, like, yeah, I'm a Chiefs fan, huge Mahomes fan, and I mean, if he did that, they would just, it'd be all over the pages for weeks. And his whole career. Good move inside, force him out the other way. Good play. Lined up on the tie, tight end. It's kind of held, but, you know. That coach was hyped up. Good move inside. Force him. I don't know why Caleb Williams stepped up instead of to one of the sides, but maybe it'll work. I don't know. Well, that's the end of the video anyway. There's one second. Okay. Um, so just based off these two videos I watched, um, I already got rid of the other one, uh, did like a lot out of his pass rush moves. Let's look at his stats. Uh, sacks. Had 13 sacks this year. Okay. So that is, I think, the most from the other out of the four guys that we've watched so far. Uh, I'll pull up my big board. Did a little bit of editing earlier to it. Not a lot. Um, defensive ends. So I just put him there so I could keep these guys. I just put him there for a little bit. Uh, can put that in bold. I have him in bold for if I'm done watching their film or I already have a decent idea. So I like a lot out of him so far. Really the only bad play that we saw was that one where he just didn't tackle, where he tried to just shoulder check him to the ground. But other than that play, he had a lot to like and a lot of positives, especially, you know, his finesse moves, his hands, getting the guys off of him, which is so important. And, I mean, it shows considering he had the most sacks out of any of these guys in Jared versus Dallas Turner, Chop Robinson. And, I mean, I think still Chop Robinson has the most upside. But I think the best player, probably Leatu Latu. I mean, he was number four on my big board at the time. And now I'm moving him to one. I mean, I like a lot. I think I got Dallas Turner at four. Um, just an upside kind of guy. I don't think he's that good. Now, will he be the first defensive end or defensive player off the board? More than likely. You know, he went to Alabama. Has tremendous upside, very athletic, and has a lot to like as well. But, I mean, Leatu Latu probably won't go high, as high as he should, considering he's got, you know, the medical history. And, uh, I mean, that's about it. <laughs> that's really his only downside is the medical history. You know, Chop Robinson, crazy high upside, twitched up athlete, and got a lot to develop with him and Dallas Turner. Jared Verse, kind of that big guy in the trenches. Is that correct? I don't know why my voice went so high. Is I don't know if I have his weight correct. But uh, my comps with him, uh, I pulled him up for what I saw and that I liked. Number one, Carl Granderson. I actually have two this time. Actually, just kidding. I'm going to get rid of it because it's going to seem stupid. Um, yeah, my comp for him is Carl Granderson. Just about the same size. I mean, he's listed at four pounds lighter because that makes a difference. Um, you know, big guys who can rush in the trenches, good finesse moves, eyes in the backfield. That's really the big thing with Leatu Latu. It keeps opening this stupid menu. Eyes in the backfield. Oh, I could drag his picture. Where will this take us? Cutie. <laughs> um, yeah, eyes in the backfield can make plays in the run game if need be. I mean, I think he also had the most total tackles of the other edge rushers we watched. So that's cool. Um, I mean, he has a lot of tackles too. Big guys that can rush on the outside and inside if you need them to. And, you know, obviously similar build. Um, he's got a nice line. Oh, what's the word? Hairline. <laughs> that's the... Uh, anyways, we're getting off topic. So, yeah, that is... My pro comp for him, about the same size. I already explained it. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's going to do it. I'll probably end up doing next video, probably a mock draft, kind of shake up my content a little bit because, I mean, I've just been doing film breakdowns. So that's probably what I'll do next is a mock draft. And, yeah, I'll do a lot more mock drafts as we get closer to the draft. So... Yeah, of these guys, right now I'm going to have Leatu Latu, 
Chop Robinson, Jared Verse, Dallas Turner. That may seem unpopular, and I still need to watch film, more film on these guys. But from my initial looks, this is how I would put it based on production, upside, floor, ceiling, all that kind of stuff factored in. And yeah, I'm not factoring injuries. This is just based on the player. If you're factoring injuries, you'd probably put him maybe at three or four. But, you know, it just depends. Do you want to take a risk? Do you not? And if you don't want to take a risk, who are the other guys on the board? Because, I mean, I'd still take Leatu Latu over any of these guys more than likely. I mean, obviously, like, the lower down the board. Not a huge fan of Braylon Trice. Have I watched, like, a game or two on him. Anyways, uh, we'll just save that for another video. Thank you guys. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, show some support means a lot to me i put in a decent bit of time not not a whole bunch of time i don't have to edit or anything but uh, i spent time <laughs> and putting into these videos so what is happening thank you so it'd mean a lot to you guys you know subscribe like i said that in the wrong order you know what i mean all that kind of stuff show us some love i mean the world to me i mean i saw that malik Na the malik neighbors video had 11 views made my day so just show some support if you can, and if not, then that's cool. I'll just make better content. So yeah, <laughs> Thank, thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.